Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your mid-month November tarot reading. This is a reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I do want to jump right, right into it today, but first I'd like to welcome anyone who is new here and let you all know that I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. Today we're going to have a detailed Celtic cross style reading, but I also have been adding in Wednesday readings here or there. I'm going to do a couple of special bonus readings in November and December, so if you don't mind hitting the like button, that does something to the YouTube algorithm so people will see this reading, but it will also tell YouTube to put those Wednesday readings into your algorithm when they're posted. All right, what advice? do you have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Pisces need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Pisces? Messages for Pisces, please. All right, we are going to lay out the tarot, then we'll take one of the Sacred Destiny Oracle cards. They remind me of Harvest. Current situation, while I feel like I know why somebody's here, you got the Ten of Swords, immediate influences, the King of Swords in your subconscious. You have the Magician in the distant past, the Four of Cups, the more recent past, the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles is coming towards you. You're represented by the Two of Cups. You're attracting the King of Pentacles in your hopes and fears. You got the Eight of Cups. The outcome is the Page of Wands. I love that. The Page of Wands is an absolutely magnificent energy, so don't be fooled by it being a page. And then your clarifiers here, these are interesting. You have the Moon, the Tower, and the Two of Pentacles. So we have two twos. Twos are about partnerships. But I do feel like there's quite a big awakening here. And the Moon, of course, you and your own energy. So you have three major arcana going on here. We've got uh, all the elements. So let's see what the sacred destiny want to add into this. What else does Pisces need to know? You have here voyage. Okay, so this is a time of transition for you. It's going to be a powerful transition when you see this card. And in some ways, it very much reminds me of you and your own energy, all this watery energy around you. So if you're going through an emotional period, you're on the right path, okay? Especially, too, when you have cards like the moon showing up here. The moon is about taking you into the path of your most joy. That really is what it's about. Now, the moon mirrors the sun, but the moon mirror means that this, you have a new cycle, Okay, so there may be things that you were not aware of, but I feel like when you do become aware of them, you're going to have that tower moment. The tower is not a bad card, but what the tower symbolizes is if there's something that you know you need to address in your life, if you don't take control of it, you're going to feel much more out of control. So you may get some kind of information with the moon, or you may, you know, all of a sudden you wake up and you've got kind of a panicky feeling and an idea comes to your mind. If you're having some difficulty with finance or you're saying, I know I need to sell this house or this car, it's costing me too much money, it's getting too many repairs, something like that. I do feel like that's where you have the turning point because there's something with that two of pentacles where I feel like it's an emotional decision. And if it's something with a relationship too and letting go of a relationship or even the hope of a reconciliation for some, because you have somebody really great here, by the way. So if you're dealing with somebody who's not been really great, it might not be them. If they're not a king of pentacles and they're not going to give you a two of cups match, I feel like you have somebody else coming in. Because with that two of pentacles, that infinity sign, sign equals or indicates infinite opportunities. So you have this big awakening. You have this breakdown for a breakthrough. But what really happens when we have the tower is that the level of stress that you've been living under, this like what feels like toxic stress, and no matter what you do, it does not seem to get better because it's just not a situation that's sustainable. It's like almost like what I see are like somebody with a handful of beach sand and the grains just kind of slipping through 
your finger. It's, it's like saying it's time to let go of something because you have something better. And so I do feel like you're going to come to a turning point and it may be a bit nerve wracking, but I do feel like ultimately you have a decision here and you've got it in here too, by the way. So with this King of Swords, he's pretty final, but the good news about the King of Swords is that he's very, in some ways, very reasonable. These are not, it's not an unfair decision. It's like a very just or justified decision. So with the Ten of Swords, that can definitely be like stabbed in the back. And if you're leaving a job too, if that's what it is, and you're, it's of your own volition, because you have two kings here, and the King of Swords and King of Pentacles are great for money. So if it's something that you're leaving, they might be quite dramatic. Or if it's something that you're doing, like a breakup or the end of something, the Ten of Swords is the end, okay? It's like, it's stick a fork in it, it's done. And so the Ten of Swords can be one of those cards that sometimes readers avoid this deck because they just don't like how dramatic it is. But I do feel like if it's something that you're ending, you're doing kind of a, you know what, this reconnaissance, this tower, this tower, like I'm not going to just sit, wait like a sitting duck. I know this just needs to end. I do feel like with this, you're going to make the decision and it's going to help you just to move forward so you're not stuck and attached. Now, for others of you too, though, like I said, if you were hoping or in holding out hope for something, the information comes in because there's conversations you don't hear. There are behind the scenes actions that have been going on that if it's you that needs to see it, you're going to see what you need to see and it's going to really be helpful, even if it is, even if it's painful. I feel like it's going to set you free. And with the energy of the sword, the King of Swords, he does not care what other people think about him. And so I know this is not your your element, but I do feel like with this King of Swords, you're going to make a, it's going to be something that really releases you and you move on and you're not concerned. You're not in the place where you feel like you have to caretake or manage or mother or whatever for somebody else who just would not do the same for you. Because even in a job too, you know, we talk about this sometimes that, you know, our coworkers are not our friends. I mean, they're coworkers and they can be friendly. But some of the things they do, our true friends would not do, okay? They're there to get a paycheck. And so I do feel like you may take on some of that energy where you look at it somewhat impartially and somewhat unemotionally. And so that's where that King of Swords is, is actually helpful because he doesn't make decisions based on raw emotion. He uses intellect. And so I want to say too, though, with this in terms of money, it's great communication, but the pentacles represent money. But when the cards were made, the swords represented nobility. They were the wealthy class. So if it is a decision about money, you're going to make gain. This is prosperity. It's abundance. It's feeling very comfortable with money. So if you do may need to make a decision, like I got to end something because it's just not, it's just not bringing in the money I thought it would, or it's costing me too much. I do feel like you're going to make good decisions with money. So you've got the magician in your subconscious, which we like a lot. I mean, the magician is making things happen and it's in a great position in the reading. Um, so when the magician appears, you have this awareness, this, uh, this energy where you are truly a conduit for the universe. So you'll find that you have many synchronicities. It's like you have, you know, the, the dreams and things are important that you're having that are communicating with you. And so with the energy of the magician, you're in the right place at the right time. This is a great card if you're looking to start a business or if you're looking to start anything where you'd be in sales or consulting or teaching anything. Even if you're making videos, you're trying to do something with YouTube or another social media platform, this is the exact idea. This is exactly it. I mean, look, people watch all kinds of weird stuff. We know that. And so don't, don't count yourself out, Pisces. If you have an idea or you have access to something, maybe you work for like a car dealership, start making videos of the cars. Put them on your own channel if you're allowed to. I mean, that kind of thing where all of a sudden you have quite a following of people and it was all something that was like right under your nose is what I hear. It's something that's going to be accessible. So with the four of cups in the distant past, you may have had for some, I do get an energy of a breakup and just not being totally interested in the people that you're seeing and the people that, and I don't mean dating, but you know, out and about, like I'm just not really interested in dating any of these people. And for some, you may have had a second chance at a relationship that was a broke up, broken up one that you just didn't want. I just feel like there was something here where it was an offer that you did not, it was not for you. You just didn't feel in your heart of hearts it was the right thing to do. 
This is also a time though where you get your mind and your emotions straight. And so in terms of meeting new people, it's actually quite good because you won't get involved with somebody that isn't, isn't the right fit for you. So with this, again, it's in the distant past. And so I feel like holding out really pays off. And this Nine of Cups is a fantastic energy. This has you sitting pretty. It's a card of attainment. So if it was a job and you weren't getting the right offer, or in terms of a relationship too, if you passed up on a second chance with somebody, I feel like you had somebody new coming in or you're going to sooner than later. And so with this Nine of Cups, it's a time in your life where you really feel like I've done it. Okay, I've made the right decision here. So for some, it may just be pride in the decision and knowing I know I'm on the right track. I know I need I did what I needed to do to make my life take a turn for the better. So if you're waiting for an offer, you got the offer coming in. Okay, whether it's a job or if you're planning some kind of a, an event, you're going to get a lot of attention for it. If you're at a new job, and like we talked about with that magician energy, it's like, here's where you know this is, I can't believe this happened kind of energy, where you say, this is more than I could have asked for. It's one of the lottery tickets of the tarot. And so with the Seven of Pentacles, here's your harvest time, Pisces. Money does grow on trees in the tarot. And so I feel like they're trying to tell you the wait is over. So if you've been trying to sell something and you've been waiting and going, I don't want to take a lower offer. I don't want to do that. Um, or like I said, you ended something and it was, you weren't seeing quite the right things coming along or you were kind of status quo in a job and you're saying, it's not the right job. I don't want to take something hastily. And, and with the King of Swords, that won't let you and the King of Pentacles. I do feel like with this, you're going to come to a turning point here where it's like all of a sudden, it seems like the offers are better. The people showing up are more attractive. They're a better fit for you. Because with the Two of Cups, you have a match. You're attracting the perfect match. So this beautiful Two of Cups energy. In terms of a relationship, it is somebody, they may be a bit, there's something about them that feels a bit um, analytical in some ways. Like they may sit back and kind of listen. They may have been somebody that was a really good student in school uh, where they're very good at, there's, there's about their energy. It just seems like they taking information. It also too may be that they're a very good listener to you. So they remember what you tell them. Isn't that refreshing? Now, if you're in a relationship already, it's a match. This is, I hear a love story of a lifetime. It is really, a, it is two people that belong together. It feels easy. It feels effortless. And it feels, it feels like the right thing to be doing. There's not, there's not that forcing it. And like that, 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 energy of like relationships are such hard work doesn't really apply here. It doesn't mean there isn't some, you know, compromise and things like that, but it's not such hard work where it just seems like it never wants to move forward. This moves forward easily. And so the person or situation you're attracting, you've got a king of pentacles here. So in a situation, it's definitely an upgrade. Okay. And it, again, if you had to wait on something, you're going to be a, very happy with the outcome here. In terms of money, it's more money. It's an increase. But it's also, like I said, in terms of a partner, this is somebody who makes a partner for life. And it's somebody who wants to understand you. They want to get They want to get you. They understand how important that is in a relationship. And to be a true partner is understanding. It's trust. It's love. It's all the things. And it's right here. So with this Eight of Cups, you've got the hero's journey and your hopes and fears. They're trying to tell you you have a new cycle. The sun and the moon appear again. And so you leave something behind that's good, but you go on to something that brings deeper meaning, that brings fulfillment. Now, I mentioned before, I love this page of wands. I really like them when the page of cups is here. So if you relate to the page of cups, who's emotional and intuitive and compassionate, this is like his best friend. When you have this page of wands, it is a truly exhilarating time in your life. Okay, there's like with this, it's like you're ready to go out there and do it. You make those gains. You take the action. There's nothing stagnant, but it is such enthusiasm. So anything you do is done with joy. If you're taking a trip, it's going to be like the trip of a lifetime. And like I said, even if you're deciding to sell something because it's been costing more money than you'd like, 
it's going to be a huge relief and it also too frees up money for guess what fun so it's very enthusiastic creative kind of energy it's an exuberance and it's like that new and exciting cycle so you'll have great companionship in this energy too so get ready for the social invitations because pages are messengers so that one brings in lots of uh, lots of invitations all right what else does Pisces need to know, please? You've got, look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you believe, okay? So something about that. If you've been, like I said, going through a tough time, you're coming out on the other side of it. What else does Pisces need to know? They're in their voyage about money here. You've got the dragonfly, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. Okay, so good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.